Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster situation playing as the last defenders going up against the Oracles of Zinch. They've sent an invasion force towards the Fortress of Dawn, and obviously the guys who sent in the email can't manage it. The email was fairly long, so I'm not going to read it out this time. So, we've got this army here. It's mostly low tier units, and the enemy forces are significantly higher tier. I think the biggest problem is obviously Kairos Fate Weaver himself, but also the Changebringers. I think that. Chameleon Skinks are pretty good against uh, Changebringers because they got a lot of missile resistance, which doesn't it, it doesn't get bypassed by uh, magical attacks. But you know, there's quite a lot of fast units in here that could charge at us. So we've got to be careful about that. So this army here, this Lord, has got lightning strikes. So he definitely had a bit of foresight for that. Uh, I had a look to see if there's any other Lords we could potentially recruit. That's would able to get lightning strike. Nope. Now. I don't think lightning striking Kairos Fate Weaver is the way to go because this army here just isn't going to be strong enough to deal with this in lightning strike because we're going to be tired when we do that. I think the best case is actually to lightning strike this one here because that's on force march. We win against that one, it gets wiped out. Now once we've wiped that one out, then we can actually bring multiple armies to go and bear up against uh, Kairos Fate Weaver. Whereas if I use multiple armies to, uh, to deal with this one now, they'll bring in their forces. So we want to make use of that lightning strike. However, I don't think that this force here is in perfect shape. Let me just check the battle difficulty. Yeah, okay, everything's highest. So what I want to do is make a bit of a transfer. Because we don't have much Winds of Magic, I want to transfer the Skink Priest. That's fairly low level. I'm just not going to be able to make use of it. So put it over here, pop it in there, and then hire some Regiments of Renown. We could grab, could grab some flying units, but honestly, I think the change bringers will take them out pretty easily. I'm going to take the Spirit of Tipok and also the Pale Death. That'll give us 20 units. Okay, then get out in the water and lightning strike this one. Go around Kairos. That's the way. Because we're not going to be able to push him out of the way. We'll still have a bit of movement left over. Now, if we lightning strike this, we might even get an order resolve victory. Okay, we do... But I still think we need to fight this manually and try to do a really good job of it because when you order resolve, it kind of just throws both of your armies together and just they fight to the death essentially. Um, whereas if we can cause the army losses on them fairly early, just skirmishing, I think uh, we'll definitely have lopsided damage, but I think we can do a better job, which will put us in better shape for dealing with Kairos straight after this. We'll probably still end up getting a Pyrrhic victory though. Just because. Our army is not fantastic, and the tools that I have at my disposal are probably still going to get pretty badly wrecked. Unless unless the AI does something really stupid, which I kind of don't expect them to, just because they've kind of got all their bases covered here. Yeah, they've got flying superiority, they've got a lot of firepower, fast units, loads of winds of magic, all this works in their favor. Okay, so what I want to do, let's get some control groups going. Put you basically melee monster type units can go into control group one. Now this one here doesn't hide, but the rest do. So don't put that one there. I want to sort of set up an ambush. What I want to do is a very small map, which isn't ideal. Actually, go into control group two. This here three. Oh, hang on. This well, I could technically hide it if I put that there, but. That's not going to... It's not going to do much. Because <laughs> it doesn't stop this one here from from being visible. Extra Earth Dodds will be useful at the end of the battle, I think. I think this battle is going to happen pretty quickly. Just because everything is particularly high damage. Alright. Like I said, I want to set up a bit of a trap. I want to send these two up front here. Try to get the attention of the change bringers. Drag them in so that the chameleon skinks can basically just shoot them down really quickly. Then the rest of their army, I expect them to come charging at us. We can use these guys to counter charge at any of their centigors, and that's when we send these ones in. You go stand over there, actually. And we'll see how we go. Okay. Also, another thing, even though they were caught on Force March, the, um, the AI out in the water, even if they're caught in Force March, they don't they don't become tired. It was actually a bug that was fixed in Warhammer 2. And then in Warhammer 3, it is left to linger. But don't worry, guys. Warhammer, 2, uh, Warhammer 3 has only been out for three years. Just give them a bit of time. They'll get to it eventually. 
Okay, that's it. Get their attention. Hang on, just, just... That's it. Ahead of the rest of their army. Because they probably saw that they would be really good against this, which they're right. The whole point of this is distraction. See, I can heal these two. Gotta watch out, though, because that one can rampage. But the Chameleon Skinks are actually pretty good. And now they're kind of blobbed up because they've targeted on one unit. Good, good, good. We're actually absolutely ripping them to shreds there. That's going really nicely. Really friggin' good. And you can see, we're, we're taking some damage, but the missile resistance there... Yeah, that's, that's doing really well for us. Because these are some high-value units, and because we're not in tight formations, their, their area of effect attack is lost on, um, on them. And they just overkill them when they attack. They're trying to land just so that they can do some damage to us. We traded fantastically well there. That plan went off without a hitch. That went... That went... That could not have gone better, in my opinion. Holy shit, that went well. <laughs> God damn, that was a plan well. Let you stop patting yourself in the back. Alright, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay, hang on, move back, move back. Okay, we got Centigors coming in. Alright, time for you guys to come in as well. Uh, where do I put these? Bring them... Huh? How'd they get back there? Bring them in. Okay, you guys come on in. Save our magic for healing at the end of the battle for the single entities. Okay, that's it. Get in on those centigors. You get in there. Let's increase our damage output here. If you're taking too much damage, get back. Good, 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 good. I am very happy with these initial results. When you guys get in here, help out. Good, Centigol's dealt with. Good, 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 good. Alright, so we've got an Exalted Flamer of Zinch. Uh, let's send these two to go and sh Actually, does that have longer range? It does. And they're pretty good against single entities, aren't they? Well, they're not good against Chameleon Skinks. Ah, uh, but we've got infantry coming in here. So, we'll have to fall back a little bit. I think. Just fall back a bit. Draw them further this way. Alright, where are you guys? I want you to go around this way here. Yeah, that's it. Maybe get these into a control group as well. Steer clear of the Exalted Flamer, although the, the Exalted Flamer is just not going to do anything to the Chameleon Skinks. Not really. Okay, let's get them in a control group as well. Move that back. So keep flying back. Keep falling back. Okay, melee monsters charge in over here. Okay, I need someone to get in there and pin down that one. You guys get in there. Pin down those blue horrors of Zinch. Okay, these ones here. Come around. Yeah, get in there. That's it, that's it, that's it. Don't let it shoot. Don't do any healing just yet. We'll get opportunities to use healing at the end of the battle because it's not going to take very long. Although the... Hang on, well, don't fight them in melee. You get in there, you get in there. Oof, that hurts. Get back. Get back, get back, get back. Stay away from that one. That's it, just at the very least, just keep it distracted. Don't have any interesting abilities because everything's low level. But that doesn't mean we can't use tactics to our advantage. So this one here, unit of San Gores. We should be able to break them easily enough. But yeah, don't engage them in melee with with them. Okay, that's working out alright there, I think. Okay, yeah, don't, don't engage with those flamers. Let's try and steer clear of them. Get back. Try to skirmish wherever we can. That's it, that Exalted Flamer is not getting much damage in on us. And because we're dancing around everywhere, it's not... Okay, actually, you know what? Uh, let's let's use some magic first. Oh, six wins of magic too, yeah. So we're really not going to get a lot of spell casts in here. Okay, this one, get in there and try to break that if you could. Get these ones over here. Go in, Just go into melee with them, because Flamers of Zinch are absolutely awful melee fighters. So you need to take that one out. Don't need to kill this guy. He's not really doing any spells on us. Get in. Get rid of this one. That's it. See how that one's falling back? That's what we want to see. Right, those are gone. Good, 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 good. 
over here. This kind of works in our favor. We're not taking that much damage. That's good. All right, get them out of there. Good, you beat that flame up. Good job. Get in over here. All right, get these guys around. Yeah, make sure we keep them from shooting. If you have a look at how much damage they've done so far, that's not much at all. Okay, that sign goal's been dealt with. Good, 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 good. Ah, uh, this fucking thing. Oh, I did it too early. It's okay, we'll heal that after the battle, I guess. Okay, get over here. We've got to pin down these ones here. We don't want... Okay, yeah, it's okay for them to fight the Flamers of Zinchin melee, but I personally prefer not to. As long as we're stopping them from shooting, that's the main thing. Because, yeah, we'll shoot them down pretty quick. Looks like they're... Because I've got to get rid of them quickly. That's why I don't want to be in melee. This is way more DPS if we shoot them. I need to get these ones over here so that I can actually heal them and, you know, heal more than two at a time. Okay, there's the army losses. That was so much better than auto resolve. So much better. That did. Here's the thing. I'm used to Zinch being quite a difficult opponent, and so that went way better than I expected. All right, let's get these four and this one, and quickly get the heals in. We don't need to run these guys down because they're wiped out. But yeah, that should put us in pretty good shape for dealing with Kairos Fate Weaver. If anything, actually, just don't fire at will. If anything, just try to keep them on the battlefield so that we can actually get the heals. There's no point healing units that... Hang on. That um, are multi-entity because it's not going to make any difference. Okay. Yeah. That went really well, I think. Right, to forget your bound healing. I don't know if that... I think bound healing and this one is different, but I was just going to use them one after another just so that they don't conflict each other. This one also that unending volley, but we barely used up any ammo anyway. Didn't really make much difference in this battle. And then, okay, this one has healed fully. Get it out of the way. No point healing something that's at max heals, but we've only got two heals left with this one anyway. Also, some experience here will help get these guys some levels up so we can maybe make them a tiny bit stronger for the next fight. Okay, I think I've got, what, one more heal left? Yep. Yeah, a bit of healing, but that's that's all of our Winds of Magic used up. And that roll there I didn't use. Oh, well. Hey, that's better than... I thought we were going to get um, a Pyrrhic victory. But like I said, that beginning phase just went so well. They they fell for the trap hook, line, and sinker. Because, yeah, they closed in all on that on those units of troglodytes. Troglodon, sorry. <laughs> and then they were in a blob so they couldn't shoot properly. And then immediately faced the stalking units that shot up at them and took them out really quickly. That went really well. So, yeah, they're all wiped out now. That's great. All right, we'll take uh, we'll take replenishment because Kairos is going to be a challenge, no doubt about that. Okay, now we have to think about how we're going to go about this. Um, don't bother with that because it's not going to get done. So if we strike here, obviously we don't need to lightning strike. Let me just have a look. Okay, valiant defeat. Because, yeah, we can still hire a lot of regiments of renown, but obviously it'd be good to save them for another opportunity. Okay, there's other... There's other heroes nearby that we could throw in here for extra experience. I didn't level up these guys here yet. Four levels up for that. That's really good. So what should we do? We should definitely do something that's going to make you stronger. So maybe... You can always just respec them later, but we've got Skirmisher here. Oh, do you know what I just realized as well? Right of Sotek. Could have done that. Um, and that would have given us extra missile strength. Ah, that makes it too easy. Um, oh, I mean, I could do that. I could do that. Hmm. I should have done that in the previous battle. I didn't even think to do it. Forget about the rights sometimes. Okay, um, I mean, we got through it just fine. But extra damage output would be good. If I do that, then I may not need to hire the Regiments of Renown. All right, well, let's just see. So we'll do that. 
Because, yeah, that'll make this one here significantly better. Now, if this one here launches the attack, it'll have 40 wins of magic. Let me just see if that made any difference. No, it's still the same in order result, but the stats on these ones here will be better. Alright, I got another idea. Okay. We want to stand outside the city here, then make the attack, and then back off. What are you doing, Legend? Okay. So, that brings us out in the water without consuming too much movement. Okay, I need to be over here. And then we can actually recruit another Lord here. Now, against the enemy forces that we're going up against here, so, oh, well, I've, man, you don't have many slands. That's a light. And also, anyone that we recruit here is going to have 50 wins of magic, so having them launch the attack could be best. Another thing as well is that this one can now attach to this army. Could this one here make it? No. Hang on. Um, oh, hang on. No, it's it's just lying to us. <laughs> okay. And that'll level up these characters a little bit for us. Assuming they survive. I just won't use them. They're just, they're just extra balance power. Okay, so we could hire a Croxagor Ancient. So that'll be higher level up there. This one's not available. Hmm, what would be best? Because I do like Croxagors at low level. But playing as the last defenders, you want to be leveling up your your um your Saurus. So yeah, let's get another Saurus Old Blood. I'll just make him a weapon master. Yep, okay. And let's have a look. Alright, it's still an order resolve defeat. But we've got 50 wins of magic this time as opposed to 20 or 40 with the others. Now we gotta keep in mind that our reinforcements are coming in from awkward angles. They're probably coming in from the from their side, so uh, could could be a problem. Could always delay them, bring them over here, and then bring them over the back this way. Another thing is that the longer the battle goes on, the more magic that Kairos will use, so you kind of want to take him out quickly. Now, in terms of what they've... Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. We need a bit more oomph. And that is... We need these two units here to take out Kairos. Okay, also, this guy's got... Alright, should go... Let me see. If I go with... Which one provides boost to... Um, Huntley? Which one? Swift Rider? Extra speed. I only got one extra point. So I get 5% extra speed. Is that going to matter? So 90 speed compared to... Uh, it will actually make a bit of difference. Okay. Because yeah, we're not going to be on a force march in this engagement. Hey, there's an auto-resolve victory. Okay, when it comes to Kairos Fate Weaver, honestly, take the order resolve. <laughs> there we go. But Legend, you took so many casualties. Look, here's the thing. Uh, Kairos Fate Weaver is fucking annoying to fight, okay? If we can get the win that way, take the win. Alright, there you go. So that's that invasion force sorted. And that guy's got a good defeat trait. Kairos has a very good defeat trait. So, you get some replenishment out in the water here. Obviously, we've increased the supply lines, but you can just disband that now if you want. Or maybe transfer these units into this army here, because he'll be a little bit better because of that extra winds of magic. Uh, but you do have another army on its way this way. But I can also see that you're bringing in Krokgar in, in this way here, maybe to gobble up them up from this way. So maybe you're defending here and attacking through this way. It's entirely up to you which way you want to go about it. Um, but yeah, these guys here, you could you could leave them here and recover. Either way, this this situation here is sorted. So I think pretty simple solution there. And be, you know what? Because we did so well in that first battle, it allowed us to order resolve Kairos Fate Weaver there. Because yeah, I, I gotta be honest, I, I wasn't I wasn't too keen on fighting Kairos. He's just super annoying. We didn't we didn't really have anything to take him out easily. This was like a, a Hail Mary, which may or may not have worked. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.